Hello, my name is Jeremy Boroff, and today we're going to look at the general urinary blueprint section from the NCCP8 blueprint for the pans and panry. Now, the first topic we're going to talk about is general urinary tract conditions uh, of the general urinary tract. Um, the first condition I want to talk about today is benign prostatic hypertrophy. Now, benign prosthetic hypertrophy presents with uh, polyuria, nocturia, hesitancy, urgency, and a weak urinary stream. Now, a key characteristic of this is that these symptoms appear gradually over a number of years. There's an increased incidence of this over age, uh, uh, with age, especially over the age of 50. BPH is not believed to be a risk factor for prostate cancer. Uh, now, a key thing that you need to keep in mind is the other differential diagnoses that you have to rule out or rule in when dealing with benign prosthetic hypertrophy and include urethral stricture, bladder neck contracture, carcinoma of the prostate, carcinoma of the bladder, uh, bladder calculi, renal tr yeah, uh, re I'm sorry, urinary tract infections, prostatitis, and a neurogenic bladder. Recommended test is urinalysis with P serum P uh, PSA and renal, pa uh, renal panel uh, with a digital rectal exam. Patients uh, with symptoms should have a digital rect rectal exam to assess the prostate size and nodules and malignancy. Um, optimal tests for uh, optimal tests include maximum urinary flow rate of greater than 15 seconds or milliliters per second, post residual volume in urine cytology. Many agents using the treatment of benign prostatic hypertrophy, and they include alpha-1 uh, anta uh, antagonists such as terosicin, doxicin, and tamulosin, which is also known as uh, uh, Flomax. Now, these agents work by uh, against the dynamic component of the bladder outlet obstruction by relaxing the smooth muscle of the bladder uh, of the neck of, of the uh, prostate. I'm sorry, the, of the bladder neck, uh, make that the urinary bladder and prostate capsule and prosthetic urethra. Now, a different agent uh, is uh, the 5 alpha reductase inhibitors, such as finasteride and desisteride, um, finasteride's Proscar. Um, patients. Taking these agents, uh, th these work by reducing the size of the prostate gland. Patients with the urinary frequency and incontinence may do, be, do, do, also be due to an overactive bladder, and that needs to be considered also. Uh, surgical treatment of BPH includes a, something called a transurethral uh, resection of the prostate, which is a, known as a TERP. Open prostatectomy can be those can be considered for those who fail a, a TERP. Rethal stent may be uh, effective in selected patients. Now, the next item I want to talk about is congenital abnormalities. Uh, you'll see in the general urinary tract. Uh, renal agenesis is the most, uh, almost always unilateral and does not uh, cause symptoms. It, it is uh, when the kidneys are either absent or underdeveloped. Um, renal hypoplasia, this appears when there's one kidney with uh, the other one larger than normal. Uh, small kidneys uh, have small areas that lead to, uh, this can lead to hypertension. A nephrectomy need to be done to correct this, and this should be considered one of the causes of a secondary hypertension. Uh, supernumerary kidneys is a third kidney. It's very rare, and not to be confused with a relatively more common uh, unilateral duplication of the renal pelvis.